Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna crochet this very basic, very simple raglan top sweater, pullover, coat, whatever. I designed it as I went, so there are gonna be a lot of tips as you go. Just watch the video in its entirety and enjoy. These are the gorgeous yarns I bought two years ago in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Worsted Merino Superwash. Yes, I did pay this much for one skein. <laughs> uh, Plymouth Yarn Company. Um, so it has 100 grams. Because I crochet pretty loosely, um, by the feel, I think I'm going to be using a size 5 millimeter hook. I thought I'm going to do the 5.5, but it feels way too thick so a five millimeter hook or h8 i think is going to be perfect for this one so here i have a chain of 76 and i'm going to join with a slip stitch into the first i'm going to post on the side of the screen the math uh, the base chain for each size and in which stitch you are going to put your two double crochets so for my size uh, i think i'm wearing size medium even though us sizes say that i wear size small uh, my corners are going to be in the 10th in the 29th 48th and 67th chain i will put somewhere on the sides of the screen in which chain you are making your corner for your size all right we're chaining three that counts as the first double crochet and that's count that counts as one and we're gonna follow in each chain two three nine into the tent we'll put two double crochets chain two two double crochets so that's gonna be your corner and there we got our first corner the next one is gonna be into the 29th so this was our 10th we're not counting these stitches we're counting the base chain so 10th 11th 12th and 13th and into the 29th we are gonna put our corner two double crochets chain two two double crochets the next corner will be into the 48th so this was 29th 30th 31 32 47 and the 48th two double crochets chain two two double crochets and we have one more so so far we have oh, one two three corners one more uh, the fourth one is gonna go into the 67th and to finish the round you're gonna join into the third chain from the beginning with a slip stitch like so and there you have it now would be a great idea to try it on if you're making this for yourself go ahead and put put your head through it to make sure that your head goes easily through it it might be for some people who want um this the neckline to be tighter or closer to the neck it might be a little tighter to pull it through your head but uh, it's gonna be closer to the neck itself. So if you want it a little looser, you're gonna have to make some pattern adjustments. Anyway, now to round number two. I know some people mentioned that you don't have to turn uh, or to flip the work when you work in rounds. I prefer my seam to be straight uh, and that's why I'm turning each round. If you don't want to turn, you're gonna end up with a slanted seam but it's on you <laughs> i'm advising you to flip each round here is gonna be very easy we are gonna chain three 
and we'll put one double crochet in each stitch until we reach the corner. Since this is going to be my uh, right side of the garment, I am going to work only into the front loops. If you're a very beginner, let me show you. Uh, see this V? You are going to work only into the front loop right here. And one more time, only through the front loop. And when you turn it around, your back loops are uh, creating this neat line. So we got to the corner and now we are gonna put two double crochets, chain two into the chain three, chain two space. So double crochet once, second double crochet, chain two, two more double crochets. And there's our corner. Now we are gonna work into the back loops and add one double crochet into each stitch until we reach the next corner. And this is how it looks like. And without me repeating myself a million times, doing the same things over and over, one double crochet in each stitch till you reach this corner, into the corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, then starting make sure don't forget the very first one do it all the way around and join with the slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning if you are going to be changing colors don't join you're going to change the colors with right, me. now we're going to join the other color so i put my last double crochet in before you join make a slip knot or a knot whatever however you want to call it I don't like too big of a tail, but we'll, we'll work with it. All you need to do is, now you don't need this piece of yarn, all you need is to insert the hook into the third chain from the beginning of the round, uh, put the, the, the loop that you created with the other color, pull it through and pull it through, right, like this and chain one. You will need to chain three anyway, uh, but for now I like to chain one and uh, secure it. So because this is my wrong side, I want to pull the tails into this side. I don't want them on the my right side. So I pull the tail this towards this side and I'm gonna tie the yarn. two nuds because I'm paranoid that it's gonna undo and I'm gonna turn we had chained one so we'll add two more and to hide this somehow now we're gonna be working only into the back loops because I want this line to be on the right side so yarn over insert the hook into the back loop and create a double crochet and this is how I'm going to be going, like so. And when you turn this towards you, like I'm turning it towards the camera, you can see this, the little V's, so this, and you're going to work into the back loop. But you guys, I know most of you have seen my previous tutorials, and even you, if you are a beginner, you still know what working in a back loop is. I don't want to bore you. And the same exact way we are going to work all the way to the first corner. Like so. And into the corner we'll put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And from now on, I'm not going to be showing you each round. You already know how to work. You're going to work into a round flip, work another round flip, 
and keep expanding this until when you fold it this gap is large enough to close in your armpit here's the square that i got where my connections are so now when i fold it this is how is it's gonna look like this is the perfect amount for me the arm size is eight inches or 20 centimeters uh, i can easily pinch it in my armpits so here where our sleeves are gonna go and um, i found out a bit about this trick uh, for to make your sweater not uh, slide backwards like sometimes when you crochet uh, the sweaters tend to ri uh, ride backwards and this gets close to your neckline and uh, the, the trick says that when you go to wherever your back is to add a couple of rows here to the back panel and only then connect it to the front this way this is going to be a little more elevated and the sweater is going to have um, the front going more down and the back being more up so it's going to prevent the sweater riding backwards so because i have to join the corners i will start i will join into this corner and i will put only two double crochets so chain three counts as a double crochet plus a double crochet so i'm not making the full corner uh, the two double crochet chain two two double crochet i'm just adding two double crochets and then i will work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to this corner and once i got to the end of the row i will put one double crochet into the last double crochet and two double crochets into the corner like so now i'm gonna turn and um i will work one double crochet in each stitch so chain three will count as a double crochet so this is the side where i work only into the front loops this I'm just going to be putting one double crochet into each stitch, into the front loop of each stitch. So uh, my line is forming on the right side of the sweater. So this little line will be on the right side. And I'm going to work all the way to the end right here and we'll change colors. And when I get to next to the last, I will put still into the front loop. But when I get to the chain three, the third chain, I will work into the both loops just for more security. I will pull through two and will stop because I'm going to change the colors. If you um, are working with a solid color, go um, actually, yeah, go ahead and finish this double crochet. So cut the yarn and get my other color. I got my loop here, I'll put it on the hook and pull it through these two loops. Chain one so I can secure it and I like to tie my yarn right here. Not very tight, like so. Okay, now I'm gonna add two more chains to make a double crochet, flip the work and i will work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to here and then we're gonna connect the front the back panel with the front so i'm gonna work uh, two double crochets together we'll start with the working the last stitch from this side which is the third chain from the beginning yarn over insert the hook into the third chain from the beginning pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then you are going to go into the corner of the front panel, yarn over, insert the hook into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three stitches, and you connected your panels, and this is your sleeve opening. 
now we're gonna work in rounds and put one double crochet in each stitch so you will work into the double crochet into next let me make a few and here it's easier to see uh, you're gonna work your sleeve here so this don't mind this little bump now one stitch all the way to this corner and we'll attach it to the back panel got to the corner just yarn over insert the hook into the loop pull up um, into the space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and uh, okay <laughs> i uh, i should have skipped the first one but never mind uh finish make a double crochet and slip stitch into the third chain right here so this way we connected the second armpit with the slip stitch so turn or flip the work on the other side and chain three let me get you started and i will show you what we have already chain three so according to my pattern i need to be working into the front loops only and i'm gonna work into the front loop right here into the next one let me get a few and now when you align the front and back see your front panel is dropped a little lower because we added a couple of rows in the back panel in this way as i said your sweater is not going to be riding backwards now we are going to be working in circles uh, in rounds not in circles uh, basically alternating the colors and uh, you already know how that works work the entire round join into the third chain slip with a slip stitch change the color flip the work keep adding rounds for as long as you want your uh, garment to be all right friends so this is my sweater so far from the armpit down the length is 12 inches uh, let's see from the armpit well more of 11 inches or 28 centimeters from the shoulder down uh, it's 50 centimeters or almost 20 inches the width or the bust is 16 and a half the half circumference or almost 42 41 and a half centimeters 42 uh, the neck opening I don't know if anyone will be interested but let me tell you uh, 13 13 and a half 13 centimeters or 5.25 inches uh, if you prefer to have your sweater straight you would keep adding until um, you get the desired length of the entire project i decided to do something else for it we're going to be working only with slip stitches so you would start like usual and you will chain the amount of chains you want the edging gosh i forget the word um to be the way how tall or how wide you want it to be that's the amount of chains you're gonna chain and it doesn't have to be any certain um, certain amount um, even or odd number absolutely doesn't matter now let's see I add more and I'm not even counting them I'll count them after I get done I think this will be enough so two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16. And next what I do, I'm gonna just slip stitch into each chain. The most difficult part about this one is to keep your gauge or the tension so they all end up looking the same. The uh, stitches 
Uh, it will take you a little while. This is a yarn eater versus the regular one that we have. We'll um, either put half double crochets or, you know, double crochets into the back loop, uh, the regular edging. This one is very stretchy and that's why I like it. So, and into the last, that is our first row. We're gonna turn this, chain one, to get up. We're gonna slip stitch only into the back loops. So, into the first one, you're just gonna have to find it. It's right here, so you're gonna have to put the hook in it somehow. That's the most difficult part about it. There we go. So only the back loop, and again, only slip stitching. Here's our third row. I still need to perfect my tension, but this is what we got. And again, you're maybe if we chain one now and then turn, well, yeah, it's not making it any easier. And go into the first and keep doing the same until your band is long enough to go around your sweater and then let me see and then one of these sides is gonna get sewn into the sweater so this is one part of the border and look how stretchy it is it is very stretchy and that's why i like working with this many of you already know who've been following my tutorials that i like working my sleeves in rounds and i always like to join in the uh, autumn pit and since this row was with the wrong side up so i'm gonna start with the right side towards me so i i'm gonna join into the um around the double crochet around that post tighten that and chain two well this one was chain one chain three counts as a double crochet put one more double crochet into the same uh, there is our corner i will put only one double crochet in that space and here i have uh, the double crochets I will put only I mean I will put one double crochet in each stitch and that's gonna be pretty easy you're gonna, gonna go all the way around I'll meet you somewhere here we are all the way around uh, we're gonna try to keep it symmetrical just like on this side so I put the, use the last double crochet, then we put one double crochet into the space where our corner was. Then we had two double crochets around the double crochet post. And we're gonna do here the same. Remember our um, back panel is a little longer so put one around the one the double crochet post and put another one if you have the same loop like i do right here where i connected the panels and once you're done join with a slip stitch into the uh, third chain from the beginning like so and this is our sleeve so now we're gonna flip the work and I will want to keep the same type of lines on my sleeves. So I'm going to chain three and I will be working with, into the front loops only. So uh, I'm going to transfer or carry on the lines from the body of the sweater onto the sleeves as well. Like so. In here and I'm gonna keep going um, around adding colors and changing colors every two rounds 
um, I will keep the lines going on. Uh, one quick tip here when you are work working with a lot of colors and you are not sure if you are going to have enough is what, uh, what I like to do. Once I'm done with the two lines, with the two white lines on this side, I will crochet the two white uh, lines on this side. So basically whatever I'm doing, I'm working parallel so i will have a better idea what colors how much colors i have left and when i'm finishing or rounding up with my sleeves and how long my sleeve is going to be versus working only on one side and then have to redo everything because oh, you don't have enough color on this and side here is my sweater done it's not going to be a sweater it's going to be a shirt or a short sleeve sweater uh, here is the bottom and what I did I just sewed it with a whip stitch you can tell right here and uh, it's pretty stretchy so uh, yeah and because I didn't have enough yarn I just got creative and made one side one color the other side the other color and same here sewed it with a whip stitch um, yeah I like it it's not ugly or anything like that. I have to work all this mess in, but um, yeah, I don't have enough yarn. So the last row or the last round was single crochets and I finished both sleeves. So now what I want to do is I make want to make them a little like puff. Uh, and because I have really no yarn left, there is nothing I can do to add like slip stitches or something. So I will be using the elastic string, wherever the seam is, I'm going to join right here. And you don't want to join it at the very end, the very border. I'm going to tie, actually, no, I'm not going to tie the knot. I'll leave it for now and um now i need to tie it i'll tie it loosely so i can untie it afterwards and tie it to the end tail like this and um, i'm basically gonna also like whip stitch or put it in e in each loop of the double crochets or single crochets and yeah, those are the single crochets so like around each loop I like so I'm wondering should have should have I, sh I should have gotten a black one well we have white <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do and each one of those loops And you're gonna move it as you move so I'm gonna go all the way around and I got to the end so I am going to very carefully remove this knot from here and tie these two together just put this around I'm going to push them towards the end. There we go. And stretch it. Make sure it doesn't come out. Cut off the tails. Not too close to the knot itself. And now spread this. And there we go. And this is how the sleeve looks gathered versus not gathered. So it's up to you. I'm going to Go ahead and do the second one and uh, I'm gonna be done and there we go so the bottom and the sleeves and because we added extra rows here now it's not gonna be sliding backwards 
I just need to work this tail. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll give it a big thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I will see you in my next one. Bye.